Hi there, everyone. It's Lissaria here. Uh, first of all, I'm hoping that everyone is doing well as you're watching this. Not only you, but your family, uh, friends, and neighbors. Um, it's taken me a couple of weeks here to gather my thoughts and uh, start creating a, a series of uh, uh, videos and podcasts that I definitely know that um, as a professional, I, I sort of have a responsibility um, to really share my, my knowledge and, and provide a little more clarity of how, uh, you know, all this stimulus, you know, payments and loans, how do they truly work? And like I said, again, I hope all of you are doing well. Um, I'm doing okay. And, uh, and as I was telling everyone, please hang in there. Um, uh, by the grace of God, I know that uh, we're going to do good. Um, we just need to stay strong and safe. And so um, let's go ahead and jump in um, to a lot of information that I really want to share with all of you. Again, if you don't know who I am, I'm Liz I am a tax advisor accountant uh, for more than, I don't know, 16 years now. Uh, uh, and I've been helping a lot of small business owners and also individuals uh, to really cut down their tax bill and do other things. Um, to keep the most of their money in their pocket and hopefully invest it for, uh, you know, to make even uh, passive income for the future. So let's jump in. Um, and one of the things that I want to discuss in this uh, specific episode is what are the changes, especially uh, for Florida State? That's where I reside. Um, and there's been quite a few changes that they have done, uh, again, due to the coronavirus and um, um and I know, like I said, the very challenging times, uh, some way, somehow, we need to find the strength. And, um, and mostly, I think that um, in our belief system, that there's something much greater than us that is really um, protecting us. And in some way, we're going to be able to prevail as humans. Um, so anyhow, let me go ahead and jump in. Um, and again, uh, I'm sorry that I didn't start creating this. It's been about... I think now three weeks or four um, since we've been in the middle of the outbreak and like I said, gathering my thoughts and how I can come uh, to the public to be able to offer a really good uh, resource of valid information because I see a lot of people out there, they're just, um, uh, you know, talking and they really don't have a financial background and a lot of this information, it's it's not completely accurate and, and I want to be able to help people that do need to take action and move forward and uh and start you know uh applying some of these uh you know the rules in, in uh you know not only loans but obviously all this stimulus checks that the government is trying to protect you know everyone here in this country um to stop the chaos um so um definitely i, I thank the government for trying their very best under a lot of pressure too um and uh what like I said, this video is going to be more specifically for Florida State, um, and that's because there's been quite a few extensions that they have done for us. So I'm going to get started, and um, I'm going to be uh, reviewing my notes as I record this because I don't use pro, uh, you know um, any type of scripts or um, teleprompters, and none of my you know uh, even previous recording. Um, so I like to start with uh, for small business owners. Okay. Um, Right now, we have what's called an emergency um, uh, bridge loan. Um, and you can get further information at floridadisaster.org. Uh, Again, floridadisaster.org. Now, uh, this is only for the state of Florida, I repeat myself. And uh, what they've done is that they are providing up to $50,000, five zero, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 per business. Um, and you are able to enroll into the special loan. The best part of this is that you're able to get um, what they consider um, interest-free, interest-free for the first 12 months, okay? So let me repeat that, interest-free, yes, zero interest, that's right, for 12 months, okay? But after that, once it passes 12 months, there, there is an interest the work code of 12%. So let me say that again, 12% after 12 months. So if you're not capable, if you're not able to pay within those 12 months, then you will have that interest 
uh, charge. Okay. Now, again, this is for Florida businesses. Okay. Um, right now, you have to have some of the requirements minimum two employees. So if you have a minimum of two employees up to, um, I think it's 100 employees, um, mostly you probably would be approved uh, for this loan. Again, this is for the state of Florida. Um, and like I said, go ahead and apply because the enrollment period started already as of March 17, and it's going to have a closure on May I believe the 8th as I'm going through my notes right now. So again, from March 17th to May 8th, it's a very small uh, uh, open time frame that you have to apply. Uh, but if you're in Florida, you might be able to get this loan way faster than even coming from, from the federal government. Um, again, they can supply up to $50,000. So uh, if you were hurt during this crisis, like many of millions and millions of businesses uh, in, in all the United States, we have over 30 million businesses. Um, and I would say that probably roughly at least a good 70, 80% of that had been some way, somehow affected by this coronavirus. So please go over there and apply. They're doing this to help you uh, to continue operating, even if you're doing it online um, because of the closure of your physical uh, brick and mortar uh, businesses. Um, something else I want to talk to Floridians about this is another thing that we've done is for businesses and the annual reporting for deadline extensions, right? If you have an LLC, you have, you know, you have a corporation, you have, that was due on May the 1st. Uh, usually if you don't pay prior to May the 1st, you can get penalized up to $400 per entity. Uh, what they've done is they have put an extension to that. So uh, usually LLCs in Florida can range about $130 per year to maintain them. Um, so if you don't have the means right now, as I'm recording this, uh, it's actually um, April the 2nd of 2020, uh, you still have an extension. And just to verify here, uh, as far as I know, I think the extension, I just want to make sure it's June the 30th, okay? So uh, again, not May the 1st, June the 30th. And as far as I, I have the information here, it states clearly there will be no penalties. Um, so you can still pay the same regular fee uh, to renew your LLC that is due annually, right? Um, but you have until June 30th, okay? So that's that's something else for you to um, try to maintain your cash and your cushion there while we're going through these uh, bumpy roads um, as uh, we live in all of us. Uh, another thing I want to mention also is that we also have, um, for property tax, we have a postponement, okay? Uh, so property tax homeowners, uh, again, if, if you have a home, usually uh, you know uh, you get that discount the earlier you pay, right? Um, so now what they've done is they have an extension until really April 15th, okay? Uh, usually you have to pay everything to get the maximum discount. You usually have to pay before March 31st. Now they have extended that until April 15th. Okay. And that's for the property taxes. All right. Now, another thing, uh, we have sales tax and use tax, right? For all those businesses that have uh, cost of goods products that they sell, um, they're usually sales tax applies to it. Um, they have also extended that into April 30th. So for example, if you're in a month to month uh, uh, sales tax uh, reporting, usually you have to pay this uh, usually on the first day of that following month. So for whoever owed monies from last month, they should have been paying the first April of this month. Instead, they have extended until April 30th, okay? So that's another little relief. So as you can see, you might need to replay this video or listen to, to the audio version uh, just to have a clear understanding of the extensions that only the state of Florida has created, um, again, not only for the homestead, which is the property tax, but also for the sales tax, okay? Also, I have just mentioned to recap the Florida disaster loan. Again, that's only for the state of Florida. I'm sure other states are going to be doing similar things. And finally, 
Um, I also wanted to mention that there are um, uh, also different programs coming up as as I'm recording this, um, they're not yet available. And as they do, I will try to keep you up to date to what other uh, changes are, are happening. But again, these are little breaks that we can get right now that where we can keep as much as possible, uh, you know, our cash and, and, and our monies in our account uh, to be able to survive during these, uh, you know, rough, period uh, that we're all going through because we're all in the same boat. That's the truth. Um, so again, this is specifically for Florida. Um, in one of the next videos uh, series, I'm going to be talking about, uh, you know, uh, the specific government loans for businesses, uh, such as, uh, for example, uh, all the way from the economic um, injury disaster loan and also the PPP uh, that you must have been hearing about which is actually a paycheck protection plan it's two different loans by the way okay it's, and yes you can apply for both but I'm going to discuss them more in detail in another series like I said for now this was more specifically for Floridian residents I hope this has helped somehow some way um, and again your comments you like to share uh, share because this is important that uh, it's coming from the right source um, uh, again I do have a background in financials and, and I've been doing this for many years helping individuals and businesses uh, for more than 15 years um, so again try and get information from the right source. Um, I'm seeing a lot of uh, videos and listening to other podcasts and blogs that I'm reading and social media. And what happens is that the, the information uh, it doesn't get cl clearly to 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 the uh, to the people. And what I mean by that is that they just what you hear by the time it ends, you know, to the next person, it's completely different. Um, get the information from the right source. Uh, listen to other, you know, professionals, tax professionals, accountants, attorneys, things that we are getting really vital information, um, not only what's being made up by a lot of media out there. So please be careful with that. Again, this, this is all free information that I'm doing now. I'm putting my time, my skills, my knowledge to share with all of you because I want to make sure that you, you really do jump in and try to get all these extensions because they're available for you. So I want you to have a little bit less stress and hopefully uh, know that you have those extensions that hopefully you'll be able to manage your money a little bit better um, as we go again through these challenging times. So again, uh, this is Liz Soria, your tax advisor and accounting here in Florida State. Again, I'm helping everyone across the states to help them through the loan process or whatever it is, comments, questions. Um, please let me know and I will try to respond to them as quickly as I can. Um, once again, um, God bless and like I said, stay safe, which is matters most, okay? So thank you very much. Bye-bye.